Hi, welcome to this short tutorial on working out probabilities from a discrete probability distribution table. Now, the first question is very straightforward, but I've picked these two questions because quite often I found that when they occur in exam papers, they often trip students up. Hopefully they won't trip you up, but I've just put these in just uh, so that we can run through them. So what have we got here? The probability that x is greater than 3. What's that going to be equal to? Well, we've got our probabilities listed under our observations here. And so if we're looking to be greater than 3, then we've got the probability that x could be 4 or 5. So we would add these two probabilities together. So that'd be 0.2 plus 0.1 and that's clearly going to be 0.3. But what about this one here? The probability that x is less than 2.5. Now you can only get these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 2.5 isn't in the list. So the first value that is less than 2.5 is the 2. So we've got to add together the probabilities of x being 1 and x equaling 2 when we get something like this. Don't try and do something silly like work out some value in between 0.1 and 0.4. Okay? It's just going to be probability x equals 1 plus probability x equals 2. So in other words, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 which is going to be 0 0.3. And this one, probability x is less than 6. Well, all of these values are less than 6. So if you total them up, you'll find that you get 1. OK, so a very short tutorial, but hopefully, you know, these ones here are not going to catch you out.